What's going on guys? Nando here with one more video and I decided to make this video today for all of you guys out there who are considering buying a DJI Mavic Pro. Now at this point, what is it, March 22nd, 2017, the Mavic Pro has been out for several months, came out the end of 2016. There's countless amount of videos out there, uh, tutorials, uh, things to know, and blah blah blah. The reason why I'm making this video is because I want you guys to have a different perspective, a different look at the Mavic Pro, my experience with the Mavic Pro, and things to consider when purchasing the Mavic Pro. Now, I've had this uh, drone probably since late January, um, and it's actually my second Mavic Pro. And with that, I'm going to lead into the number one thing to know when it comes to the Mavic Pro, in my opinion. The gimbal on the Mavic Pro is extremely sensitive. It's extremely fragile. There are countless amount of videos out there on YouTube showing the gimbal, showing issues with the gimbal and the gimbal breaking. Now a lot of those videos show user error, user uh, problems or, or poor flight planning and poor flying and combinations of all of those things where someone flies into a tree or someone doesn't take account of how windy it is, or someone flies it too high. Things that they probably shouldn't be doing or are risking doing with their Mavic Pro, then they bang into something, hit something, the wind is too high or you know too fast, or it's too cold or too hot. What I'm focusing on is the fact that this gimbal, the way it actually rotates and moves, it's attached to a little film, like a, like a little plastic or a little rubber band. Uh, it actually looks like it's attached at two separate points to this rubber band. And in my experience, the first Mavic Pro that I had, it malfunctioned. I had yet to fly the Mavic Pro, yet to take it outside. I had just unboxed it. I had a set on the table, and I was simply updating firmware. When the gimbal, because of a firmware update, decided to sporadically uh, move out of control. While um, I don't know if it was trying to calibrate itself or what, but it calibrated itself into a error, and from that point forward, all it did was shake and caused the camera to not work. And that was my first ever experience with the Mavic Pro. A gimbal overload is what they called it—a gimbal error issue problem. And because of that, I returned my Mavic Pro to Best Buy. I was extremely disappointed, extremely deflated. You can imagine this thing has been backordered for so long. It's still pretty hard to find. And when I get it, I have this issue. And I haven't even flown it. I did take away the plastic cover. There's this little, there's the dome on top of the Mavic Pro. And then there's this little plastic latch. And a lot of people fly or forget to take this off when turning on the drone. That's an issue because when you turn it on every single time, the gimbal tries to calibrate itself just a little bit. It moves. And with this plastic cover on, that keeps it stable for transportation. When it's on, the gimbal can't move yet. It's trying to move and the motors will probably break or start to wear down. So please remember to take this guy off. It's going to save you a couple hundred dollars. It's going to save you headaches and issues when you're trying to fly your drone. So... Number one thing to consider when buying the Mavic Pro is that the gimbal that connects to the camera isn't very strong. It's not something that is going to uh, probably withstand a lot of beating. Now, when you look at the Phantom, that's a bigger gimbal, bigger camera module. Now, I'm not saying to be abusive towards it, but there's a chance that that's going to sustain some more wear and tear. Just something to consider because this drone is all about portability. This drone is something that you can close up, fold up, and put in your bag and go. We know that. But the gimbal itself is very fragile and a big problem. There's countless number of YouTube videos and Reddit posts about it. Now, the number two thing to consider, the second thing to consider when buying the Mavic Pro, is the fact that it does not have a lot of clearance. Now, to me, that's a big deal because in my experience with the Mavic Pro, um, let me step back a second. You guys see these legs here in the front and on the back? I bought these and I'll actually link them in the description below to Amazon where you can buy them yourself. Super cheap, $10. 
um, to add additional inch and a half of clearance. Because I was so paranoid about the gimbal and about the camera module, I did not feel comfortable just laying this on almost any surface. Now, I get it. I'm not going to lay it on a rock or lay it on something that's not flat. But even when laying on grass or just fine dirt, it's not very high. It doesn't sit very high off the ground. And because of that, you run the risk of hitting a rock, of hitting some twigs, of hitting something that's going to hit that camera module that's going to ruin your footage. When you look at the DJI Phantom series, they have much bigger uh, uh, legs or that big casing that it sits on. And that allows it to avoid that ground or at least a couple inches off the ground that you're not going to be so worried about. That's not something that the Mavic provides. As you can see, even with these extenders, you don't have that much room. I'd say you have probably about two inches or an inch and a half from the camera. So take this away and you're barely, barely off the ground from the camera module and that very sensitive gimbal. Now, the third thing to consider when buying the Mavic Pro is if you have $100 to spend additionally on the DJI Refresh Care. And I say that because after my first issue, after reading about other people's issues, this is a $1,000 investment. Unless you've got money to just fling around, and if you do, all the power to you, and I'm sure you still want to save it, uh, get yourself the care. You have 24 hours after buying it to purchase it. It's an investment. You have that peace of mind that if you're flying around and it crashes, or there's an issue, or it malfunctions, as long as you can recover your drone, you can send it back to repair. They'll either repair it or send you one back in the same kind of condition that you previously had it. I think $100 is going to be much better than spending $1,000 for a new Mavic Pro. So guys, please consider those three things when buying this drone. Now when I say these three things, hey, those are small things uh, that, that, that have bothered me and they don't even really bother me besides the gimbal issue um, when it comes to the grand scheme of things and how fantastic of a drone this is. I have never flown a drone before until I own my Mavic Pro. And as of this recording, I have over five and a half hours of flight time, which doesn't sound like a lot. I don't have as much time as I wish I did to fly it. But I have over five and a half hours and probably over six miles of flight uh, distance with this Mavic Pro. Even if I'm just flying over the same thing all the time, I enjoy it so much. It's relaxing. It's amazing to see those type of things from that type of point of view. So guys, Take those things, think about them, and when you're thinking about buying this Mavic Pro, see if those are issues or things or that, that, that will keep you from buying this, and maybe you want to buy the fan. Maybe you want to buy a different brand. I don't know. But in regards to DJI Mavic Pro, consider them. The gimbal issue, the clearance issue, and whether or not you want to go ahead and spend that additional $100 to get the refresh care. And there you have it. Those are three things to consider. The list could be bigger. But I think those are the three most important. If you guys have any questions, any comments, if you're enjoying flying your Mavic Pro, give a thumbs up. If you don't like the Mavic Pro or you prefer to fly something else, give me a thumbs down. I want to see what kind of comparisons we're getting here. Thumbs up for the Mavic Pro, thumbs down for something else. And comment below what you fly with or what you're planning on getting. I'm Nando with my Mavic Pro. Peace.